<laughs> Hi guys, this is Oyebo Princess. Fuck off back to your own country. That phrase really pisses me off and I'm done with hearing it. I feel it necessary to come onto my social media and explain to people that the world should not be the way it is today. There are too many narrow-minded, uneducated individuals or knobheads surrounding us in this day and age and it is definitely unnecessary and it's about time we change. Life today should not be about fighting, it should be about uniting. I do not understand how people feel that they can actually stand there and tell people that they should go back to where they were born. What kind of nonsense is that? It's 2017 guys, we need to wake up. It should be about accepting other people, embracing cultures, understanding traditions, getting to learn about different languages, trying to unite together, not fight one another. Who do you think you are genuinely standing there telling somebody else that they should go back to where they were born? For what? So wait, do you really think now if you were born in a country that is potentially there's unsteady, there's an unsteady economy or you are struck with war, you are facing deep poverty, you are facing no education or you are facing a daily graft of which you're hardly even surviving. Do you really think that you would not enter a lorry or enter a plane or enter a boat and try your utmost hardest to carry your family to a country where you know you will have a better life? Because damn right, I know I would. I know I would. I'm really tired of hearing people tell other people that they should go back to where they are from or that they should fuck off to their own country. I'm sorry for the language that I'm using because at the end of the day, I'm not one to swear. However, it is necessary in this situation because it is why I'm hearing every day and I'm tired of it. People are so arrogant. They are so stupid. These dumb, foolish idiots that are born without any concept of what is going on around the world. They sit down. They sit at home. Most of them don't even have a job. And they feel like now they can turn around and tell people that they should go back to where they are from. At the end of the day, life should be about uniting, not fighting. I'm really tired of saying it. I really am. These people, anyway, mostly Oyibo, mostly Oyibo people are the ones that are the cause of all these negativities and hostilities. Why? Because they are just too dumb. They are too dumb to look outside, to come and see what people are facing, to go and see how it is like to live in a country where it is struck with difficulty. These people, anyway, they tell people to go back to their own country, but us as Brits, how do you think we would survive with half the people and half the cultures that we do not have here today? When we go to a club on a Friday night, is it not a dress from Primark that we are wearing? Where is Primark made? India. We'll be wearing shoes, potentially from China. We will then call a taxi and be carried in a car uh, which has now been imported from Japan. When we get to the club, we will listen to music that is not even 90% English. When we are coming home, we will look and die for a doner kebab or a burger. Who makes it for you? Is it your fellow Englishman that's making it in the kebab house? No. It's probably a Turkish man or a Kurdish man that is making your kebab. The wine that you are drinking, where is it from? Probably Italy. Then, when we have a sickness and we go to hospital, do we always see an English doctor? No, we don't. We see African doctors. We see uh, other doctors from the EU. We see doctors from India. We see doctors from Jamaica. We see doctors from all around the world. I'm really tired of our narrow-minded mindset over here. We need to change. It is time to change. Another thing that is really frustrating me right now, these current issues that we are having just two, three days ago here in London of stabbings and different bombs and different uh, things that are happening up and down. People are now blaming Muslims for it. Why are you blaming Muslims in general? Why? At the end of the day, the people involved in these kind of issues are from ISIS. ISIS is a minimum amount of people, absolutely minimum. The fraction is not even worth considering. The amount of people that are involved in this terrorist malarkey are like this. 
hardly anything. And you are now there sitting there telling people that because of Muslims, because of this, leave Muslims out of it. They are just as heartful, just as caring, just as understanding, just as patient with us as we should be with them. It is just a religion. People have a right to be whatever they want to be. Whether we are Christian, Buddhist, Muslim, whatever, we should join hands. Why are you tarnishing Muslims for this, this, this issue that's going on? I don't understand it. Because it is ISIS. It is not all Muslims. You need to take a check of yourself. Go and educate yourself. Go and try and teach yourself. Because right now, you are just an ignorant fool. You don't know anything. I am British. And I am proud to have Nigerian inside of me. I am proud to have adopted the culture. And I am proud to stand for their rights. As well as my own. Because in my mind, we are one. We are one. And that goes for any other culture. Any other country. We are all one. Honestly, I'm really, really done with hearing these kind of negative comments online. Negativity about sending people to where they are born. Negativity towards a certain race or religion. Negativity towards people because of their colour of their skin. It's bullshit, man. Wake up. It's bullshit. You know me, eh? My name now, Onyibo Princess. Me, I be Onyibo Babe. But... Nigeria, don't they colonize me because me, I they love Nigeria. If you see me do any kind of social media thing where I know they talk pigeon, you know, say something, they worry my head. And right now, this thing where day for ground, it they worry my head where we're. Now, the reason why they do Mama Charlie for you, so. So I beg, make when I help me share this message, eh? Because right now, all we need is to join as one. God forbid bad thing in this world. It's about time. We need change. Unite. Nobody fights. Well, your boy princess says so.